What is good, everybody? It's your boy DB Kicks, man. We are back with another video. Anytime I got a new pair of sneakers, man, y'all already know it's gonna be a good day. That's the old intro right there, man. If y'all boys been around for a while, anything that I can find online will be linked in the description box below. And I'm not telling you exactly what to wear, but I am just giving you guys some style inspiration and how I like to style my sneakers. The box is gonna come with an orange lid, um, black Jordan box. I'm not gonna go over the whole entire story. You guys know what it is. For legit purposes, this is how your pair should come. And the yellow on here is actually a sticker. I mean, the paper is nice. The, the, the whole shoe, the whole rollout, everything is just incredible about it. I, I'm, I'm not even gonna lie, the shoe, the shoe is just amazing. Here's the receipt. The yellow Sandy Bros receipt, shout out to Sandy Bros. I wish I would have paid the $34 or whatever it says because I didn't, all right? Here it is, this is the Air Jordan 1 Chicago, AKA the lost and found, and these things have found their way in DB Kiss collection, man. But you know, um, I do have the 2015 pair as well, so I might do a separate video just on the comparison, but when it comes to the details and everything that they put into this sneaker, they absolutely knocked it out of the park. It, it's just, it's good. It's really, really good. The materials are really, really good on my pair. And the leather even feels different. I know we're used to like that very stiff or that very like soft tumbled leather. They didn't really do this. Like this leather almost feels like it's actual leather. I don't know if it is or not, but I, I really like the feel of it and the look of it. And they really capture like that 19, uh, I think these are based off the 94s or the 85s. The Wings logo, the way they did the Wings logo is completely different. The H collar on it. It's just really good. The, um, the weathered outsole, kind of like what they put on the old school uh, AJKOs and the, the, the Nigel Sylvester's, the, the aged tongue. It's just a really, really nice pair of sneakers. And they just go with every single thing, in my opinion. Like you can wear so many different outfits with this shoe which leads into the next portion of this video, which you guys came here for. I'm gonna show you how, this is gonna be the best styling video for the Jordan with Chicago. I'm, I'm talking my ish today, all right? DB Kicks don't usually do that, but sometimes I gotta do that, all right? <laughs> so anyways, let's go ahead and get straight into it, man. We're gonna start off with uh, what I'm wearing right now. This is an honor to give t-shirt. I wanted to incorporate some color. It is fall leading into winter. So I didn't want to do too bright of a color with the Jordan on Chicago. So I figured I would throw on a pair of green vintage wash J. Crew sweatpants. These are incredible sweatpants. Just to play off of that green on the honor to gift shirt, the red in the shirt and a green hat to match the sweat. So this is a smash outfit in my opinion. Let me know what you guys think about this. Don't be scared to try different colors, you know, mix different textures and stuff like that. Just because the shoe is red, white, and black doesn't mean you gotta wear it with red, white, and black. But if you can try uh, and find a way to incorporate that color somehow, then that's even better. Next, we're gonna go into a Jordan outfit. Keeping it vintage with this outfit. I really like this oversized Jumpman t-shirt, the flight logo on it. It's like a washed, faded red. It almost has an orange hit to it. And I think that's just a good way to play off of the age 85 look. And the pants are a pair of baggy cargo pants. Those are Jordan brand as well. I think I picked these up from DTLR a few months ago. Actually, no, a year. I picked them up like a year ago. They were probably like 25 bucks. Very, very comfortable. I wore them to a Chris Brown concert recently. And the flight logo actually matches the logo that's on the Jordan t-shirt. I know this is kind of meant for the Jordan 4 because of the flight logo, but I really don't care. I just think the aesthetic and the, the baggy look of the outfit just fits very, very well for the Jordan 1 Lost and Found. All right, next outfit, one of my favorite combinations to do is a flannel and a t-shirt. Usually when I rock a flannel, I go with a solid t-shirt because I don't want it to clash too much, but I wanted to try something new and just step out there a little bit. So this is a flannel uh, from PacSun that I picked up years ago. And the t-shirt is actually a Jordan t-shirt uh, from the Wings collection in 2019. So the shirt is cool because it has like different um, styles, different eras of how we wore the Jordan one, you know, from the short shorts with the high socks, like MJ did it back in 85, all the way until like the jogger era. And then 2019, you guys can see how, I'm not looking at the shirt right now, so I might have the years wrong, but uh, even the later years with the Volt laces, you know, the off-white Jordan ones had those Volt laces too. 
So I think that's where they got the idea from. And I wore a pair of J. Crew denim. This is just a really basic in the middle sort of denim. All right, these are actually a slim fit. Let me know what you guys think about an outfit like this. On to the next outfit. It is cold, man, you know? Well, right now it is very hot in Virginia, but in the future, pretty, pretty soon, it's gonna get very cold. So I had to throw on an outerwear piece for you guys. So this is a Carhartt work in progress. This is a duck canvas. I think it was called a duck canvas puffer jacket or something like that. But I did pick it up on a Black Friday sale. It's kind of got that eggshell color to it. And I said, you know what? I wanna kind of wear just a different color t-shirt under this. This is a brown Uniqlo airism t-shirt extremely comfortable t-shirt if you guys have not watched my video on that i will link it in the description box down below a brown t-shirt because it pretty much is the same color that's on the collar you know playing off of that age look you know you can use materials and stuff like that to kind of mess with accent colors in my opinion and these are the same jeans these are actually a pair of j crew wash denim pants as well same exact pants i just had on so these look really really good together on to the next outfit more of the cool weather all right so when it comes to this so this outfit here is a gap outfit the pants are actually a pair of essential gap khakis i got these yesterday when i before i shot this video i got these for like ten dollars from the gap outlet very nice pair of pants in my opinion gave them a slight little cuff at the bottom olive green and the shirt is actually a J or J crew. The shirt is actually a Gap crew neck, very um, kind of a lightweight crew neck. It's not too heavy, but I just like the classic Gap logo, just the red outline. Very very simple, and I capped that off with a red Gap beanie to match the Air Jordan One Chicago and the T-shirt, of course. Just give it a little bit more color pop. Next outfit for the Jordan One Chicago. This is definitely on the casual side. If you want to take a lady out on a date or something, this is an all black cardigan featuring H&M. The t-shirt is actually a all white t-shirt from Kirkland. And I recently discovered these t-shirts, they're undershirts and they're very good. They're very good quality. They're six for $21, nice thick collar on it. The jeans featured with this outfit are the All Saints Joey denim. I just like that whole slim outfit, all right? This looks very, very clean. This Jordan 1 Chicago is basically proving how versatile that it can be. Even though it is red, white, and black, it's just a very versatile sneaker to wear. And you can wear it every day, and I'm about to wear mine right now. This is a Chicago Bulls t-shirt. I got this from Abercrombie & Fitch. The pants featured are a green pair of woven nylon pants. A lot of people ask me about these but at this point they're just gone all right so i'm sorry i can't help you with that and a black fair got essentials fitted this shirt really matches like to the t you know what i'm saying if you want to get like a matchy matchy t-shirt the cream the red the black it's all there all right everything you need color wise is gonna come with this shirt it's very soft very comfortable and very good quality t-shirt from abercrombie all right if you have not checked out abercrombie i definitely recommend it because their whole entire rebrand everything they got going on is very good there's a bunch of brands rebranding right now all right so all right. let me know what you guys think about these outfits and give me your opinion down below what was the best outfit i would probably say my favorite outfit just what personally what i rock with the most is like what i got on now the graphic streetwear kind of t-shirt outfit is kind of like my favorite thing to do but i'm slowly getting into like a little bit of like the menswear kind of vibe as well with like the black cardigan these are set to release on november 19th if you did not get exclusive access good luck put your footwork in enter all the retail raffles that you can and just hope for a w man if you don't you know just it's up to you what you're gonna do with the shoe or if you're gonna buy it for resale or not. That is up to you. So if you did enjoy today's video, man, definitely smash that like button, man. Subscribe to the channel. Your boy's on the way to 10K. That's really the goal before the end of the year, but if it don't happen, oh well. <laughs> but I really hope it does happen. So definitely uh, help your boy out, man. You know what I'm saying? Drop a comment, all that good stuff, man. I, I want this video to do very, very well. I put a lot of work and time and money into this video. So I appreciate you guys coming through, showing love to the channel. Your boy DB Kicks is out.